Hello everybody and welcome to Paladins. This is an interesting game on the Switch, especially compared to what I've done on my channel. I got it because it came out on the Switch. I dabbled in it on the PC version. And I wanted to see how far it's come in the few years since I've played it. Hold on, let me set this to not just Team Deathmatch because I want to show off other modes. So there's three modes here. Uh, you can really think of this game as what if Overwatch was a game where they focused on nothing except for making new characters. Because as you can see, there's only three game modes. That's nothing. There's only like, oof, I want to say like 10 to 12 stages in the game. But the all of the focus goes into making new heroes and their loadouts and whatnot because they actually can differ in between. Even if two people say the same, play the same player it can be completely different. And that's one of the things I find kind of interesting about it. Uh, I want to say there's 38 characters. If we go on to, sorry about that. If you can, if we can go on to, never mind. You can see all the characters here. I think it's like 38 compared to Overwatch's, I think 27 at this point. And this came out after Overwatch, of course. So, I mean, obviously it's not going to be 100% as polished, but it's still, a game that you can play and the gameplay for by all means is wonderful i've been having a great time the only problem is you may have noticed that we queued up for quick play i've put 17 hours into this game so far and i still haven't unlocked competitive play i thought i only had to get to level 15 or unlock 14 champions it, all the champions are unlocked right now because they go on a rotation and for some reason they're all on rotation this week, so whatever, works for me. But uh, you actually need to unlock them with credits that you earn by playing the game to get them permanently and not have them go off of uh, just random uh, swapping off. And I wanted to get this character because this is definitely a main I want to pick up. She's a healer. I'm always a healer. That's how it is but uh, she also has really good damage potential. And I don't know what it is. So as a Switch player, you're going to be on Xbox One servers. Well, with people on Xbox One servers because we share servers because PS4 is dumb, Sony is mean, and uh, PC would just completely wreck us if we cross-played with them. So you're going to cross-play with Switch and Xbox One players. So uh, probably not as big as PC has a a following but uh it's still something and maybe once sony starts not being jerks they'll they'll jump into the cross play bandwagon but uh for now it's just those two so if you're like looking up your stats on online's online websites because i know there there are those like i think there's master paladins just like there's master overwatch just to like track your stats and whatnot you want to click on i'm an xbox one player Souls need a fire to warn them. I do pick Celerity, just because I like having a bit more power compared to a bit more healing. So at the beginning of every game, you purchase your items. Uh, I usually start off with either Cauterize or like Life Rip or anything like that. I don't want to choose anything from defense until I know more what they're going for. Um, Kronos isn't a bad one either. Uh, looks like they have a lot of direct damage because if you were choosing up here on defense, you 90% of the time either choose Haven or Blast Shields, depending on whether they have a lot of direct damage or area of effect damage. So uh, it looks like I think everyone up there is actually direct damage. Five, no, 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 their tank is... Three, two, their tank is area of effect. She shoots like rock, a rocket launcher, basically. But uh, our character right now is kind of like a rifle user. Actually, it's funny. I played this map like once kind of a ma rifle user but she can heal with left bumper shoot with right bumper if i press r i do like a backflip and i shoot three little things away from me and then uh left ugh left uh what is it left bumper i think i can shoot a giant pillar of light which i've upgraded to heck with my loadout um Shoot a giant pillar of light that stuns enemies for like a, a second and a half and also does ridiculous damage, so. It's a really fun loadout. Here's another thing. I don't often play outside of handheld mode on my Switch, so it's a little bit odd 
in that way, but otherwise it plays very similarly to Overwatch. Five on five teams compared to six v six, so you're going to have a lot more influence over each of your matches, which honestly feels kind of good. Um, I'm just gonna shoot this like right there to see if they run into it. Nah, I missed them. All right, that's fine. They're pretty much dead anyway. See, look at that damage potential, and then I can just heal anyone with a simple press of the button. It's pretty good. I find myself having hard times aiming my heals rather than my my actual shots. And I've like, okay, here's another thing. For some reason, the players in this game aren't very good. I find myself doing four to five times the healing of any other healers I see. Uh, and even then, I'll do more DPS than most DPS. I don't know if it's because just I've had a lot of a lot of experience with Overwatch, and I'm just like playing according to that, but uh, th that's really why I want to unlock competitive mode. Because I want to start getting into the nitty gritty of it, and uh, quick play just ain't doing it for me, gotta say. Send this down there, that'll probably hit someone. Oh yeah, got a couple of hits on that dude. You also notice that the time to kill for everyone compared to Overwatch is so much longer. My HP is 2,200, which would have been unheard in Overwatch. Of course, shots do more damage individually as well. Yeah, I just like that as this character, you kind of have infinite range. And then every time I heal, um, I can shoot faster. There's a little meter down on the bottom right. You can see that uh, slowly goes down and my shooting gets lower at every tick. So, and then I have my ult, which is on X. Which for some reason, I'm, I'm used to the layout at this point, but I just feel like it's weird that X is the ult button. And basically, it'll... I have to channel it, but it takes two seconds and I'm invulnerable during that time. And once it activates, everyone gets 30% increase in speed, 30% increase in damage on my team within like 150 feet, which honestly is so big, it might as well be my whole team. So, yeah, that's kind of the basics of this character, whom I very much like. I also just really like the design. Sure, just throw out a bomb. See, look, the other team isn't even coming at the point. I don't know if they're trying to do flank of the year or something, but they ain't doing much. Look at that. Boom. Done. Throw that in there, probably get a hit. No. But, like, they're no... Okay, I say that, and now I'm about to die. Never mind. I'll just get a kill. I'm a healer, by the way, just in case you forgot. It does seem like she has a lot more kill potential than pretty much any other healer I've played up to this point. Those little things will explode if you get too near to them. Ooh, just like that. Uh-oh. There's no way I'm gonna live. Oh my goodness. He just called down an airstrike on me. But yeah, like... I just wanted to show this off just because it's kind of interesting. It's also been the first time I died in a while, so we're going to be adding a lot of stuff here. They have a lot of uh, single-hit heroes. Direct damage, so I'm not gonna bother with trying to avoid damage from their tank. Honestly, I haven't seen their tank yet. I have not seen their tank. I don't know if they have an AFK, which happens a lot, apparently. Or what, but, uh, she's probably out there somewhere. Yeesh. Oh, someone just used their ult on me and made me unable to use any of my skills, which is fun. I should, like, the, the hardest thing, probably, about this is just remembering to use all the skills I have. Like, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw my ult off here, so... They don't get much off. They did get the first cap, which isn't a problem because we're gonna we're gonna defend it. I have no doubts. Okay. Looks like they're gone for now. Yeah, look at this range. Most characters don't have that kind of range in this one. Also, I'm getting destroyed from behind. And they're dead. It's that simple as this character. She's so strong. But then I get chased. I think their entire team is flanking. I think that's the deal here. None of them are actually pushing the objective. They're just trying to get kills. And then even when they do, they're not doing anything with it. Not gonna lie. Anyway, as a person who plays both Overwatch and I've been dabbling in this, it's kind of a nice change of pace because there's a lot more variety in the games due to there being less care more characters and less players in each team. Like, that adds a lot more variety in between each game, but the fact that there's, like, five stages for each mode. I think Deathmatch has like two. Maybe three. I think three is about right. I haven't really looked at the list out there, but seems right to me. 
Yeah, I've just been playing around with a lot of the healers. A lot of the characters I haven't even played yet. But, uh, my first priority really was to mess around with the healers. Maybe someone's in hiding in there. That's another thing. It goes straight through walls, so... You can really catch people off guard if you just throw it in a wall where you think they're flanking at. Ugh, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I think I have my heal when I don't. And that's a lot of the time, to be honest. I keep mashing the button as well, because I my, the normal player I play outside of this character does have, like, one shot per click. So I'm kind of ingrained into doing that. Look at that heal range also. Like, that's insane. Here, I'm gonna throw... Oop, I don't have charge, buddy. I'm gonna throw this in here just to help. Maybe get a lucky hit. Also, those shots do home on, in on enemies. So, boom, that's a defense. Simple as that. Who's out there? Here. Ooh, he just used his special. He's really using this as cover. Yeah, finally, about time my team came around. I delayed that for quite a bit, but yeesh. They were just kind of out there messing around. I guess they were def they were stopping the rest of the team from coming in, but still. All right. I wasn't really paying much attention when I got life rip. I probably could have gotten killed to heal, and it would have been just as fine. Anyway, uh, the ones I chose here. Cauterize prevents the enemies from healing for like one second after you hit them. Actually, I have it upgraded to... 60, they they don't get 60% of their healing. It goes up from 30, 60 to 90 for every upgrade. Life rip, you get H t HP for every piece of damage you do, 10%. Uh, Kronos decreases your cooldowns, and Haven prevents direct damage. And those are pretty much, that's honestly the loadout I go for for almost all of my games. If I see they have a lot of area of effect, yeah, I'll swap that around, but I, I kind of like the way I have it right now. You can see I keep pressing the button a lot when I'm waiting for my cooldowns, so that's definitely a problem I have. So that's why I usually go with the cooldown reduction. Can you, like, not here? Eat one of those. Ooh, got him too. You see, sometimes just throwing it blindly into a wall helps. I'm getting wrecked. Yeah. I don't like that Koga character. Like, it seems real... Like, he does... I feel a bit too much damage. But I'm also trash at playing him, so whatever. Maybe he's hard and I'm just bad. Not that we're losing. Basically, we need to cap this point right here to win. And, uh... Otherwise, it's just to the advantage of them, because you can't actually win a game for getting a defense win. So, you have to, uh... Basically have to beat him here, or else you lose. Oh, he is... Ugh... Oh. I do not know what even killed me. Oh, uh, she just sicked a lot of her explody boys on me. Boop. Yep, okay. Not enough. I don't, I'm not doing too well here, to be honest. It might be because I'm not in handheld mode and I'm just not used to it. I do need to get a pro controller eventually. Ooh, also, if you're wondering how good it feels, the control, we're gonna win this. If you're wondering how good the controller, like, or the controls feel in this game compared to, like, I don't know, I'll say Fortnite, because I did dabble in that for, like, five minutes. The controls in Fortnite are so bad on, on the Switch. Oh my god, I can't handle it. Even though they did add in Gyro, it's still pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, in this game, it feels a lot better. I think they made it easier to hit. Like, if you're shooting a projectile, they'll, the area to hit an enemy is much bigger than it would be on PC, just to make the matches go a bit faster, which I guess it does lower the skill ceiling a bit, ba a bit basically, but not a big deal. I'm sure there are characters out there that are a lot harder to hit with, uh, like, I think Ash is a, is a sniper, I don't know. Let's see if we can get a different game mode. That was Siege. As far as I've heard, that's the only mode in competitive, which sounds pretty nuts to me. Not sure about y'all. It's basically cap the point and then... And then, uh, payload. Yeah, yay, free pass level up. That's my that, that's my main problem so far. If you want to get competitive, you basically have to spend money on this game unless you spend hours upon hours just grinding it out. Because, uh... 
I said that you have to have 14 champions to play competitive. You can see it right here. Well, I have 10 champions right now, and I'm level 15 on my character, 22 on the battle pass, and I have uh, 10 characters. And also, some characters cost different amounts of money. So that's 60,000 compared to, I think, Fernando is 30,000, and then there's other characters that are 15,000, if I can find any. So if you want to play competitive as soon as you can, you basically only get to buy the 15,000 cost characters, which sounds dumb to me. I don't know why you'd make that your your block to being in competitive. And we all know why that's the why they added that to play competitive because they want you to spend money on the game. They don't want you to just be able to play for a little bit of time and unlock it yourself. Ugh, free to play. You gotta love it. Um, gonna turn off Siege just so we can see a different game mode. I, I think I'll play one match of each game mode and then we'll call it quits. Um, I have been playing this a lot. D I, don't get me wrong, the game is fun. But oof, the scummy practices in this are insane. Also, I'm pretty sure I can crash the game if I go looking through the champions menus. If you're in a queue and you go looking through too much, the game will crash, and I want to see if I can do it in recording. Oh, they, they accepted too fast. I didn't get too much to mess it up. So I guess let's try out a new character. Um, I could go for a tank that I've been enjoying a bit. Khan. He's kind of a, a tank-healer hybrid, because he does have one ability that can heal. I can show off the abilities. So I shoot really quick... Uh, Shot, hold, what, what is this again? Yeah, I shoot quick shots, fire 200 damage shot every 2.26 seconds. Bulwark, which is a shield. I have a battle cry, battle shout, which says area damage, granting myself immunity and healing myself in 100 for 1,000 health. Why does this say area damage? It's not damage. Anyway, that's a shout that heals me and all my allies nearby for 1,000, but it's on a super long cooldown. And then I have Commander's Grab, where I dash into someone and throw them behind me, basically. And, who boy, it's fun to get kills off of that. And my Overpower Ultimate, basically I grab someone and I get like a good 10 seconds to throw them wherever I want. Whereas uh, that ability is just grab them, throw them behind uh, real quick. You're not allowed to move while you have them held or anything. All right, we're here. Also, I unlocked a new thing for him. These unlock as you level up your character. Every le every character has their own level for your account. Um, weapon fires 40% faster and has 10 more rounds, but deals 25% less damage. Huh. I mean, that's a general upgrade of damage, um, and shield recharges at 60% effectiveness while it's raised. Yeah, I'm fine. I want to keep shield. I'm not a DPS. I don't want to just keep doing damage. This is my shooting. Um, I'm just going to buy... What do they got? That... They have Eevee, who's a... Who's the area of effect. I'm going to go with Haven, just since I'm a... Since I'm a tank, just get the tanky one first. I'll probably get damage to heal or something. So, basically, what I do for this... Stand here and shield, and you're all good. Because uh, your shield does have a surprisingly huge health pool. So uh, I can stand here for a good amount of time, just chilling. Go ahead, dash, grab someone, throw them back, have a good time, heal, and uh, wait for my shield to get regened enough to raise it again. I think they also just recently... Oh, I didn't even realize it was that low. I think they just recently added in headshots, which is a weird thing to me. As a person who's played quite a few FPSs, Halo, Call of Duty, Overwatch, like, headshots is one of the new things you add? That sounds weird. Because previously it was limited to just a few, a few heroes able to headshot, like the, uh, well, basically, like, the, the sniping ones, stuff like that. My main deal here is just attract as much damage as I can. I can kill him. Attract as much damage as I can and then chill otherwise. Gonna go ahead and give everyone a chill. A chill. A heal. Someone's out here. 
So here's something I can do that I want to show off. I can stand out here on the right side edge, and if I end up dashing into anyone and grabbing them, like if I can lure them out here, I can just throw them off the edge and they die. That's stuff I love, and it's a lot more impact in a game like this than like an Overwatch where, where you know, you can kill anyone in like a few seconds, no matter who they may be. I missed there, but that probably would have gotten a kill. Compared to Overwatch where you can like kill someone in like three seconds, no matter who you are. In this game, it takes a while to get a kill, especially on a tank like me. Like, uh, I have a pretty good amount of HP. I shouldn't be off the, the point, to be honest, but uh, I really want to show this. Okay, he did it. He did it. Oh, he has his dash, which is annoying. He can really get it away from me pretty easy. I'm just going to keep my shield raised if they're not doing anything. At least I'm contesting. All right, I need to get out. Oof. Okay. Uh, oh, really? You're gonna do that? Okay. She's getting tricky. She does have a lot of movement. Oh, apparently random shooty guy got it. Okay. I thought Eevee had it. Yeah, I don't really understand that. That's one I haven't played at all. It's the guy on the top right. Also, my, like, dash and grab does 600 damage. I think each of my shots do 200, so that's a good amount. I have my super, so here's a good time to show off uh, completely making someone super mad. Here, when this guy's out. Boom. And goodbye. He's gone. He's gone. It's over. Like, it doesn't do that much damage as an ult, but you can just toss someone off the edge. See, he's doing that. He does a lot of damage, but... I just tanked it all. It's simple, really. Okay, she can do that ice block. I have no idea what that guy's abilities are, but he sure did. He sure did use it. Also, is it just me? What just happened? Is it just me or just hearing the ticking when you're on the point, like getting points for your team? Is that not like the most... Like, it feels like the game's about to end because I hear the ticking. It's like, ooh, five seconds till the end of the game. But not so. It's just something that it does whenever you're getting points. wonder if there's, like, a way to turn that off. Stop that, please. So, yep. And that all, usually, like, grabbing them and throwing behind you, them behind you puts them in a pretty bad position because they're going to be, of course, in the middle of your team. The exact, exact opposite of where they want to be. Now, if someone's going to walk over here and, like, contest me, I would love to throw you off the edge. I don't think he's close enough is the problem here. I mean, I am distracting him, all things considered. Get out of here. Yeah, it's not going to quite... I don't even... Oh, he dashed back to where his team was. They'll do that. I'm getting messages. Sorry about that. Here. Here. My team can use a heal. It's good just to remember to use your abilities, if anything. I feel like that's the most of the, uh, of the skill ceiling of this game, just remembering to use your darn abilities. It's not like Overwatch, where, like, you know, like, half of the abilities in Overwatch... Look, Koga does so much damage. Half the abilities of Overwatch feel useless. Like, how many times do you use Shadow Step as Reaper? Because it, it's... I mean, you can't, because there's no applicable use for it other than movement out of spawn but in this game every single ability has a huge upside whether it's a lot of damage displacing the enemy or what whatever have you just like delaying a kill on you i don't know it's good stuff you get over here i think you're gonna be the one i kill i'm low i have to get rid of him quick oof i'm almost dead really do wish my healer would get me I'll just heal myself. See? That's this is probably one of my second favorite heroes. I wanna I wanna buy him eventually. Just so on the weekends I don't lose him. I feel like just the mix of healing and shielding is so fun. Personally. You always have something to do. It's not just, ooh, I can't do anything if an enemy's not here. Guess I better chill. That's so boring to me. Here, shoot at me. Like, I love it. Like, they get so preoccupied with you, they're like, oh, I better keep shooting you, and then they're dead. 
because they ignore your entire team. It's great. I mean, I guess that's the basic concept of a tank, isn't it? Here, everyone get healing if you need it. Am I in, like, an enemy fire thing? I think I was. Oh, you were in perfect area. You're also just gonna die. Can y'all, like, stop hitting me? Oh my goodness. They are very focused on me, though. And I haven't upgraded anything, have I? Yeesh. Uh, get myself a lot of life, Rip. Stay along, stay alive as long as I can. That can make a pretty big difference. Although there's never really moments where you're like, oh, thank God I had life Rip there, it saved me, because that doesn't really happen. Oh, so close. He would have been off the edge, probably. I don't know. Y'all look like y'all could use a heal. It's so good. Like, you just pop it at whatever time, and it's probably good. Got him. Oh, that's Eevee's special. It's basically Blizzard, Maze Blizzard, but it doesn't completely freeze you. Okay. Well, we're good. Just go in and throw a taunt in there. Because we good. Oh, am I? Because I got healing... Oof. Our entire team's dead. Maybe I shouldn't have taunted. Don't you think? I need to get out of here. Where's Evie? She needs to die. She's dead. Cool. Oof, I'm really low. You do heal if you're out of battle, but oof. It takes a while. Oh, we did it. I don't know how we got the last point while they were on the point. I'm still not 100% sure about the scoring system in this game, as you can probably tell. Oh yeah, of course the top plays Koga. Koga's really strong. Like, I'm sure if you're good at aiming, which I'm not, like, he can be a powerhouse, but I just can't do anything. He also has the ability to swap between his guns and his claws, and a lot of the time when it's showing, like, a playback, there's going to be an animation error where it's, like, showing the claws, but he's shooting his guns. I don't know. Ugh. It's just real weird. And that's the newest character as well, so that's why they're on the loading screen. So just real quick here. I know our healers are actually doing a pretty good job because I noticed myself getting healing, but I want to see how much healing I did com in comparison to their healers. If they even had one. I don't even know if I saw one that, that they had. So, like, let's check this out. Scoreboard. So this is where you can see all your stats. Obviously, I did less damage, but I did 61k shielding, which is more than I even expected, and then 8,000 healing. Um, yeah. I want to be real with you. 35,000 is not a great amount of healing. It's really not. Like, I can get 50,000 usually. Um, oh, wow. I had a lot of objective time. The, the thing you probably want to compare, I don't know if this is accurate to, like, how good you did, but um, probably your credits, because you do get credits for shielding, for healing, for being a damage sponge and surviving all these little things, being on the point. And you can see everyone got about the same amount on our team. They had some people, like if you're a flanker and you got 27k damage, I'm sorry, but you threw the game for your team. <laughs> you really did. Um, no, 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 hold on. I forget to do this every time. Let's go ahead and swap it back over to only team deathmatch, which I'm surprised is the last one we're playing. Anyway, you can I can show off some of the menus here. You got your battle pass. You get a reward every level if you're not stingy with your money. I, I think it's $12 a month, or a, a season. Uh, I should make that clear. A season is about three months in this game, as opposed to a lot of other games. It, it's The word season doesn't mean any, anything in video games, I'm gonna be honest. A season in Overwatch is like a month at this point, because they keep reducing the time. Uh, it's like $12 a season, which, I mean, by all means isn't too bad. I mean, I might do it eventually. If I get high enough leveled and stick with the game. Because you do get all the rewards you've already earned. And I'm level 22, so I'd be getting quite a bit. As you can see. And it might be enough to just get me uh, competitive mode outright. Then you have your challenges. As far as I know, these are really long-term goals. And uh, looks like you get a title whenever you defeat all these. And I did complete the first one, so... Working up on it, slowly. There's esports. Uh, I don't know if the esports scene for this game is dead or something, but uh, it's not there. 
Sure is not. Maybe it's just off-season. Oh, I get to claim my bonus. There's daily rewards. It's one of those games. 800 coins is nothing to sneeze at, though. Uh, DLC. Like, if you get this, you get all the champions and a season pass for 2018. Uh... Oh, so that's three season passes, and that's actually... That's a lot of money. Holy moly. Like, I think... These little bits here, I don't know actually how much they are. It might be like $10 per thousand, I don't know. So I guess let's try out a DPS here. The only DPS I feel confident in being is Victor. To be honest. I'm trying to think of if there's anyone else that I particularly liked. But I don't think there really was. Yeah, I'm gonna go Victor. And, um, hopefully this next person chooses a healer, but it's not a big deal if they don't. Because even if you don't get a healer, you can just invest your money early on into, like, Life Rip or something like that, to where you can heal yourself fairly consistently. In fact, I bet you could probably just make a no-healer loadout. Which, by the way, is, like, these group of cards that I choose from at the beginning of every game. I don't think I explained that. I'm assuming most people watching this aren't haven't played Paladins before, because, like, if you're watching a Paladins video for the Switch... Like, you're at the bottom of the barrel, buddy. Not gonna lie. But, uh... Victor's basically the most generic character in the game. Um... I can show stuff. He has assault rifle. Shoots like you think an assault rifle would. Iron sights with the ZL, so better accuracy, lower movement speed. Frag grenade, you throw a grenade. His ultimate is shooting, uh... Is, like, locking onto people, and then a missile comes down and shoots from the sky. Pretty basic stuff. And then his his R button is sprint. Like, it's... I mean, they're useful. They sure are. Also, this is my favorite deathmatch arena, so I'm glad we're getting it. But, uh... It's useful for sure. But it's just so basic. Alright, so we got cardio or gunnery. I'm cho gonna choose gunnery. Basically, that's either healing while you run or more damage shooting. Uh, and then we have these loadouts. Basically, you can... Choose from cards to get different effects. They're too intricate to go into. I don't think we actually ended up getting a healer. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if that pink-haired girl is a healer, so I'm not sure if we do have one. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna bank off us not having one, though. Because I know none of the other characters are healers. So you'll see real quick that this is the most basic stuff. You run, you shoot, you aim, you shoot. Probably in a different order. Throw a grenade, get big damage. I have an effect where uh, if the grenade hits somebody, it lowers the lowers the cooldown on it. So like, boop, boom, they're dead. Uh, got another one. Hit them again. I'm getting low on HP. I gotta run. I do have life rip. It's not that good, though. It's not gonna out-damage three people. You can cook it as long as you want just to get to explode faster. Already have again. Throw it in again. That guy was right on me, and I wasn't expecting it. Like, you can just kind of, uh, keep going. Oh, that's gonna kill me, because I can't figure out how to get out of it. Oof. Also, I feel like your screen doesn't normally get red. I think that might just be, like, a, a fun effect for this character or something. I don't know. I don't recall seeing the red around the screen as you get low on HP. So, unless I'm nuts... That's actually true. 15 HP. Good lord. I do think the grenade will hurt you if you stand in its explosion, like if you throw it straight down or something, so be wary of that. I'm just gonna chuck it. Nothing. Where are they shooting from? Like, behind us? Get out of here, boy. Oop, that's an ult. You definitely get behind a wall that... That's one thing I've also noticed. The explosion of objects is a lot larger than you'd usually think it would be. I'm gonna get destroyed. I have my ult. Okay, I'm healing. As long as you don't shoot, I believe you get the passive healing. Yeah, I could have used my ult there, but I didn't want to use it and die immediately. There's also no respawn timer in Team Deathmatch, which I guess makes it really good for, like, learning a hero. You're hardly punished for failing. Oof. She used that wall to block my grenade. I mean, I'm sure that wasn't the intended effect, but that was one of the effects. Here, I'm gonna use my ult. 
Just lock onto guys, and they all die. Boom, double kill. It's that easy. Just by aiming down a down a line and pressing shoot. Also, I just killed three people. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna die. I need to buy stuff. I've, I have so much money here. They have a lot of area of effects. So I'm gonna get that. Um, I mean, I'm gonna get morale boost because I am getting my abilities pretty quick and cauterize just so my enemies don't get away. Huh. Oof, I'm dead. Neat. That was a that was an ultimate. I don't quite know who's because I don't think I've seen that before. A lot of characters in this game just really are not played at all. This boy's dead. Good job. You're dead. Good job. The kills are so easy in this. Oop. Yeah, free damage. I'm poisoned, though. There's also a lot of effects which aren't in, like... Like, Overwatch is pretty dang basic. There's not really any extra effects. There's a couple that maybe, like, does a bit of damage over time if you get hit by it. But in this game, like, almost like almost everything has an element. Like, whether it's burning, poison, or whatever. I Not almost everything, but a lot of things do. I'm dead. Ugh, I just wanted to try and get one kill. I don't think I was going to get away from that no matter what. Just kind of spawned in an un unlucky position. Ooh, isn't this the same spot? Guess not. Also, I really don't think we have a healer. Which says something if we're still doing this fine. Boom, double kill. It's that simple. Oh, no, they ran away. I'm really low. I need to get away. Also, there's enemies back here. Yep. I'm going to wait until I heal. Then do the damage. Simple as that. One thing I do like is there's no, like, kind of spy character in this game. That's the one thing that really... Oh, she's inv invincible. When she places that flag down, she's invincible in it, so... That's one thing that bothered me. I, w I, I did play a bit of TF2 a while ago, like a few weeks ago. Oof, I forgot how annoying spies were. Like, I thought it'd be a nice little callback, but no, I'm dead. No way I was going to get rid of that, away from that. She used her ult solely on me, I think. Uh, how's the score looking? Yeah, we're losing. I do find that I lose most of my Team Deathmatch ones. Not most, but like, it's 50-50 on Team Deathmatch, and I win every single other match. Not sure if it's just more because I'm bad at aiming and good at positioning or what. Because there's not really much strategy to this other than don't die. I just got to kill by throwing that right there. Hold on, I'm going to do that again. Oh, I'm out. I'm outie. Definitely want to try and get the high ground here. I don't know if I'm being chased. Doesn't look like it because my team's here. We might be able to get a comeback on this. Just spray into it. Spray and pray. That's always that's what I always say. Oh, she needs to die. Oops. I don't know what that is, and I'm running away. At the, at the very least, they're sufficiently loud whenever they ult, so... They're never going to get one by on you. I didn't kill anyone. There was only one person, but I still didn't kill him. Ooh, got both of them. Yep. I'm dead. Oh, I'm still good. Okay. We are making a comeback. Barely lost, though. That sucks. So, y'all saw how pretty good I did there. I think, my, I think I died like five times, maybe. I didn't even use my money because I died so many few times and didn't remember to. Also, I got play of the game. Oh, boy. Oh, it's just, this is the part. Just boom, 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 double kill. Run around here, throw a nade. Boom, got him. And then they lived, I guess. So that was what, three kills? Easy stuff. Yeah, I do find this game, like, just playing quick play is so easy. When you win, like, 70% of your matches and that percentage doesn't go down, I don't think there's a hidden MMR for quick play. I think you're just matched up with whoever's the same level. Which would explain why I'm just getting, like, I'm just, just completely destroying everyone. This, I mean, this wasn't meant to be, like, a bragging video, but you know what? It really did turn into one, didn't it? There's my daily challenges. I already did one of them, so there's that. Let's look at the scoreboard. 51k damage. That is more than double than everyone except for her, and she has shielding. I'm not sure if she's a tank. I don't think she's a tank. 
Anyway, like, look, we had no healers. Their healer did 19k, so in reality, they didn't have a healer. It's ridiculous. Sometimes I've seen healers just there, and they have zero healing. Like, I don't understand the incompetency of playing a game where you just don't use anything but your main shooting. I don't know. Also, yeah, wow, hoof, Koga does so much ridiculous damage, and here he is with 14k. This is what it usually looks like, to be honest. 11 kills, 7 deaths, 17 assists, and just we lose. I don't know. And it's all that frustration is compounded by the fact that I just can't play competitive. I can't play ranked because it wants me to spend money. Anyway, that's been Paladins for the Switch. I hope this is enlightening. You pretty much see that the uh, the visuals aren't hindered at all by the fact that it's on the Switch. Um, I imagine it plays very similarly to the Xbox One version. Uh, you just don't have a mouse and a keyboard is really the only hindrance. Anyway, that'll do it. I just wanted to show this because I've been playing this a bit and I wanted to show it off for people who were wondering if it was still good in this version. Yeah, you're just going to have to either buy the game or deal with incompetent players for a while. See you all in whatever I do next, and goodbye.